about to get started in about 40 seconds. All right. Hi, everyone. My name is Polkad Agrawal, and I am the founder and CEO of The Fifth Ingredient. Thanks for tuning in, and a huge thank you to Andrew Copeland from Craft Beer Professionals Group for setting this up. Um, it's been awesome to just see the growth of the craft beer community on Facebook and just everybody else over the last uh, year or so, and just seeing the community build out and just getting more and more interest in Beer 30. So today, what I thought would be really cool for us to do is talk a little bit more about the Beer 30 story talk about how this software came about, talk about what really uh, differentiates us uh, between Beer 30 and other brewery software systems in the market, and really just dive in on you know, how Beer 30 can be used to help your brewery really transform data into cost savings. And that's really everything that we do here at The Fifth Ingredient, which is to take people's data and actually do something meaningful with it, so that way they can brew more beer and brew better beer. Uh, throughout this entire talk, feel free to add in comments in the chat window. Feel free to add in um, any questions, things that are happening. It makes it a lot more interactive for me rather than me just talking into a black box. So I'm more than welcome to add some questions, comments, whatever you have in mind. Um, and again, this call is recorded on December 9th, 2020. So keep that in mind as we start going into all the different details about Beer 30 and the fifth ingredient. So let's just dive right in. So first off, uh, let's go into a little bit about the story of the company. So my name is Polka Agarwal, also go by PK, and the co-founder of the company is Ryan Ellis. And what's really unique about our story is that we both come in from the beer world. And what's really interesting about that is that I actually used to be an engineer at Ballast Point Brewing in San Diego. Uh, did a lot when it came to the actual packaging side of things, helped them launch nitro bottling and kegging, and then really helped out on the packaging equipment, so bottling, canning, and kegging. And I also helped them out in the whole Virginia expansion. And what's really cool is that Ryan's background is, has been in sales and distribution for a number of years um, at both Fat Cat Beer Company in San Diego. And then he's also one of the co-founders of Protector Brewery, which is San Diego's first and only organic beer company. Now, what's really fascinating about our story with that is that because we both come from the beer world, what we noticed was that in the industry, there were so many people that were basically using paper logs, whiteboards, and spreadsheets to track their data, right? And it was very interesting because you have breweries, even like the size of Ballast Point, that are still on these you know, spreadsheets and paper logs while they still have other softwares, other ERP systems in place. And so that's kind of where the uh, aspect of Beer 30 came about, which is what can we actually do with our data in order to help people actually understand what's happening? Right, And so with that, everything in Beer 30 really focuses on improving quality, increasing output, and reducing cost and time. And what's really interesting about the whole Beer 30 side is that because Ryan and I have both come from the brewing industry, it really helps us understand and connect with the actual people that are using our software. Right, And that happens both on the user interface side of things, happens on the functionality side, and even dives in with our entire product roadmap as well. And so I'll get into that a little bit more as we start actually diving into Beer 30, but that kind of gives you an element of where we both come from and how the software was built out and what was in mind with it. Now, with that, one of the few, uh, awesome things that we love sharing with our customers or potential customers is really just customer testimonial as well, right? And so as a part of that, if you take a look, this is Dave Ward, Aether Brewing in Australia, and this is a quote directly from him. 
from the moment we saw it and how to look through, we love the system. Its brewery set features are brilliant, intuitive, and comprehensive. What really blew us away was the speed of implementation. 24 hours from the decision to go with beer 30, we had loaded our inventory, stock, what was in tank, set up for packaging. 36 hours after decision, we were brewing with beer 30. Now, what's really awesome about this is that in terms of getting a brewery up and running, we really pride ourselves in being up and running within a day or two, right? And that's really something that sets us apart from other softwares in the industry, which may take you weeks to months to get going. And so just that element of having a streamlined process in order to get onboarded really helps people transition to something like Beer 30 immediately. Now with that, if you take a look at some more customer testimonials, at this point you can see, you know, Silver Branch Brewing switching from Ecos to Beer 30 has been a no brainer for us. And we've also had other customers switch over from orchestrated beer as well. And so overall at this point, you know, we have a number of customers throughout the world. We're looking at over 120 breweries across 11 countries. Uh, if you go to our customer testimonial page, you're more than welcome to read different testimonials. Um, our smallest customer does about 60 barrels a year, and our largest one does about 55,000, that's Pelican Brewing, right? And so it's very interesting to see just our growth happening, more and more breweries coming on, and just whatever we can do to help people really understand how they can better utilize that data to actually make better beer. Now, as a part of that, what's really interesting is let's start actually talking a little bit more about the software. So on the screen here, you can see the way that Beer 30 is set up. So a lot of times, most of the questions that I get are oriented around pricing and oriented around you know, how we actually bill. And one of the most important things that I wanna emphasize with that is that if you actually take a look, we have unlimited number of users per account. So that way people are able to come in here and are actually able to have uh, multiple users all logged in at the same time, taking different data sets, because as a data company, our thought process is, why bill by the license when you want every single brewer, every single filter tech, every single packaging person actually recording data and understanding how that all ties in together. And with that, some of the other benefits include fast setup, easy to use, live training. And as you can see here, everything is web app based, which makes it even the more powerful aspect because it's mobile, tablet, laptop friendly. And with that, one of the really cool things, and I love this testimonial um, that we have here, this is from uh, the uh, Brewing Project, one of our customers. And one of the favorite things that I love about this is that if you take a look, implementation was simple. We did an hour or two training session with Polkin and our management team, then sat down our brewers for a lunch to learn. And by the end of it, our people felt proficient enough to hit the ground running. Initially, we purchased iPads to help our crew keep information easily accessible. But within a week, most of them prefer to use their phone due to the simple user interface. So that's really the key with Beer 30, right? That you have even customers that have purchased iPads, but then end up using their phone just because of how simple and easy to understand the interface ends up being. And yet it's so powerful because we have this internal element of a three click rule, get anywhere in the system within three clicks and really understand just how those aspects all tie in together. Now, with that, let's go back into the actual modules that we're looking at. So first off, we start off with the base system of brew process. With that, what's really great is that you're able to look at things like scheduling and task management, raw material and inventory tracking, yeast and yeast genealogy, and process side of things. And so this is basically helping you eliminate all the paper logs, spreadsheets, and whiteboards that you have, and having an all-in-one system on the brew process side that can help you really track things like brew, ferment, filter, bright tank, package data as well. And now as part of the base system and brew process side, you also get certain management tools as well. And those include things like dashboards, so having real-time management as to what's happening and understanding across the entire world on your phone what's going on. Charts, so being able to compare between different uh, batches and understand how they all line up together. Diving in on the report side and understanding exactly what's happening when it comes to process and efficiency reports, brewers report of operations, TTB reports, excise tax, um, we have a number of breweries in Australia and New Zealand and other countries, and it's awesome having a two-click excise return for some of our international customers as well. Real-time notifications, where you'll get a real-time text and email about everything that's happening in Beer 30. Contact Manager, which acts like a mini CRM of sorts, so that way you can actually keep an understanding of what's happening at each vendor, distributor, accounts, and how those all tie in together. And then finally, as part of the base system, you also get this batch history module 
which allows you to basically look at a brand from grain to glass, consolidating at least seven to 15 spreadsheets that people have in one location. And so it's really cool, right? Because the way that our pricing is structured, it's tiered based on the brewery's annual output and then modular based on what aspects they need. And so with that, this becomes a really cool aspect of being able to go through, understand just how each of these areas all ties in together. From there, we have other modules that we have as recommended upgrades. What that includes is looking at something like this lot traceability module. We're able to actually associate things that dive in together with different ingredients, landed costs, and even analytical quality, right? So if you're buying grain from BSG, Ventani, et cetera, actually tying in with the lot numbers in case you ever have to understand which lots and uh, the batches actually went into. From there, there's packaging materials, understanding empty cans, bottles, and kegs, and then overall batch costing as well. And so this becomes one of the additional module add-ons. We have another one that ties in perfectly with sales and distribution, where you can really utilize that to create sales orders, pick lists, bill of ladings, and actually tie that in with deposits and credits as well. Accounting sync. So we sync completely with Zero and QuickBooks Online. And it's amazing because the way that we did it was when we built out those modules was actually get feedback from current customers that helped us build it out in order for us to understand exactly what they wanted to sync over. Right, and at this point, Bureau 30 syncs over with both Zero and QuickBooks Online with everything for contacts, purchase orders, receiving vouchers, and then sales orders slash tax invoices. And so this becomes an amazing way to keep your accounts payable and accounts receivable all tying in together as well. From there, we also get into these awesome aspects of sensory and quality. Now, one of the really cool things that Ryan and I pride ourselves on is that Bureau 30 is a combination of like a full-blown ERP system meets a LIM system, which is a lab information management system, and the two married together and had a baby, and that's what Bureau 30 is all about, right? Where it's able to put together the best of both worlds, the lab side along with the accounting side, and that's where this additional module for sensory and quality becomes really awesome, where you can then start diving in and understand just how each particular bureau is going in terms of sensory and different lab metrics as well. From there, we also have some more specialty upgrades as well. So that includes things like sales traceability, where you can actually attach batch numbers to every sales order to understand where products are going in case there's ever a product recall. You also have keg tracking, so that we're able to tie in with serial numbers um, and understand exactly what beers went into a particular keg. From there, dive in on fermentation testing. So if your brewery is doing things like BDK analysis and pass-fail analysis, it becomes an amazing way to understand just what's happening on a uh, on a batch-by-batch -batch basis and day-by-day -day basis as well. Diving into barrel aging and actually understanding what's happening when it comes to cask data, blending things together and incorporating that all together. From there, we also have a module that's dedicated to packaging downtime. Now, this is one of my favorite modules because I used to handle a lot of this at Ballast Point. And it's really understanding the efficiencies of packaging equipment and understanding how they all tie in together in the actual process side. And what's amazing about all this is that we actually have a full-blown hardware API where if you have machinery which has sensors on it, so imagine your brew house side of things, or maybe you have tanks with temperature probes or things like that, or even if you have equipment like your bottling line, canning line, kegging line, if those have actual internet capabilities, you could send us the signal and we can then automate that process entry into Beer 30, right? And so these all become really cool ways to actually do something meaningful with your data rather than just having it sit on a paper log spreadsheet or whiteboard. From there, some of the things we love emphasizing when it comes to understanding Beer 30 by the numbers is that we have zero dollars in onboarding fees. We have a 60 minute startup session. And one of the amazing things we pride ourselves on is 24 seven customer support. Now, this is one thing that we always love emphasizing to customers. And if you actually go ahead and take a look at some of our blog posts on our website, there's some awesome content here just in general, even if you're understanding like how you should be syncing with Zero QuickBooks, understanding about our second software, Bucha 30, diving into the ways to actually brew better beer with using analytical tools. And then here we get into the getting started with Beer 30 and product recall side of things. And what's amazing about this is when you actually talk about 24 seven customer service, this is one of my favorite quotes. And this is, uh, you know, Eddie line brewery out of New Zealand throughout the onboarding. And now as we use it, as we have instant customer support via WhatsApp chat or quick call. And despite our 18 hour time difference, we have immediate support throughout our day. When do they sleep? LOL. Customer service is absolutely top notch, which is a rare commodity in today's world. Overall, our thought process is this. 
you work weekends and holidays, so do we, right? There's somebody always available to answer any question. You can ring us up. You have access to me, Ryan, and our team members directly. And that becomes an amazing way to just keep growing the system. And that way, it's not like you're ever worried about, hey, I'm at my production facility right now and my software isn't working. What do I do? I got to wait a couple of days. Our thought process was, look, if you're brewing, we need somebody available to answer any questions that you may have. And that 24-7 customer support on weekends and holidays has been phenomenal on having people really build out the Brewer 30 community. So with that, let's actually start diving a little bit more into the software itself now that we've gone over some of the overarching aspects of how Brewer 30 all ties in together. So with that, over here, this is the dashboard when you first log in. What's awesome right here is that you're able to see right away things like brewery metrics, fermentation profiles, and then right underneath that, exactly what's happening in each tank. What's really powerful about Brewer 30 is that everything that you're doing on the process side can be extremely customized for you. So that way, if you're adding in different statuses, like this tank is on a QC hole, this tank is dirty or clean, you're able to really understand how each of those aspects ties in together to go through and understand on a tank by tank basis where a process is at. From there, let's just go a little bit into the different modules that we're at so that way everybody on the call and everybody looking at this gets a feel for the interface and how things are set up. So starting off with looking at something like scheduling and task management. So what's really awesome, like I mentioned, is that you have unlimited number of users. And so with that, you can actually see in multiple views exactly what actions somebody needs to take today at the brewery, whether it's brewing, dry hopping, filtering, et cetera, or then even tying in with giving people access via text or email. So that way they know that that task has been assigned to them. We then take that information and turn that into a really cool planning tool where you can visually start seeing what's happening on a tank by tank basis. And the best thing about this is that everything you're looking at is entirely mobile, tablet, laptop friendly, and you can also drag and drop things around. So imagine I'm doing my CIP day earlier, I can legitimately just move things around and it's great because all the dependencies and things will go forward with that as well. So really cool way to just plan things out, understand what's happening on a task by task basis and see how that all ties in together. From there, let's talk a little bit about raw material tracking. Now, what we really love in Beer 30 is that you can come in here and actually add in things like grains, hops, and adjuncts inventory. One of the most amazing things about the whole traceability side and lot tracking is our mentality here when it comes to having something like this not tracked bucket. So one of the things and feedback that we always get from customers that are using other softwares is being locked out of brewing if your inventory doesn't exist in the system. And on our end, we thought about this from our own experience, right? We've all been there. You're on the brew deck. You got hot water coming into your mash tun. You're about to mill. You're about to cut open a bag of grain. And now all of a sudden, your brewery software system says, hey, you can't brew. You don't have that inventory on hand. Well, you're not going to stop what you're doing. Go and track down the purchase order. Go and track down the quantities, the dollar values, et cetera. Instead, what we decided to do was, look, most people in that scenario would just end up taking a piece of paper and just adding that all in on, the, on their own. Right? They would write it down, jot down the pH, jot down gravities, temperatures, et cetera. So instead, in order to have people keep using Beer 30, the thought process was, let's just set it up where there's a not tracked bucket. And if you don't have an inventory or particular item, don't stop yourself from brewing. Just go in there, mark it as not tracked. We'll flag it with you with a red exclamation mark, and you can easily come in after the fact and actually reconcile the inventory. That way, both sides of the equation win. The brewer ends up continuing to brew without the inventory added, and the accounting person knows that they need to go in and reconcile with that purchase order. A win for both sides involved. Now, with that, what's really awesome is that if we keep going down the process, is looking at something like yeast. So we all know when it comes to yeast handling, people usually have many, many spreadsheets that all tie in together to really understand just what's happening on the process side, right? Whether it's adding fresh yeast, harvesting yeast, looking at cell counts, liabilities. And our thought process was, well, you know, let's just take it a step further and actually create proper genealogy trees so that way you now understand what's happening as you're harvesting and pitching. And then if let's say you're looking at a particular brand and batch, it becomes an amazing way to just dive in and understand exactly what's happening when it comes to that first pitch, the harvest, repitching, and understand just how all these nodes tie in together. We have some customers that are legitimately like 
14 generations deep and like 20 generations out or 20 generations wide or 20 layers wide, I should say. And it's great, right? Because now you understand that if something is stalling in one batch that you harvested from, how that's going to tie in with the rest of the system. So again, just really cool ways to associate, even just in our base system, raw materials, yeast, which then leads to the process side of things. And so what's amazing about that in Beer 30 is that you're able to enter in your actual recipes and we have a full blown recipe management system. So that way you can see different versions of recipes, different metrics, set points, et cetera. And then we're able to take that information and actually go towards brew day itself. And brew day in Beer 30 is set up in four easy steps. You start it and then you go into mash in, brew log, brew additions, and knockout. And so what's great about this is that as you're mashing in, for example, you can actually start tracking the exact lot numbers. And like I mentioned, if you don't have the ingredients on hand, just mark it as not tracked and the system will still allow you to keep brewing and you can just reconcile after the fact. And then similarly, what's great about this is that on the brew log side, the goal really is to use Beer 30 real time to track your daily readings, right? And that includes things like mash, Warloff, louder, sparge, boil, whirlpool, and then things like gravities and pH and temperatures and step mashing. And one thing that we love, and we've talked about this in many of our presentations in the past, is having the real time validation, right? Where you're able to see right away where things are on the red, yellow, green scale and how far they're deviating from your actual target. So it becomes a really cool way to understand just how things are tying in together on the brew side as well. From there, what I really want to get into is fermentation, right? So most people are very well aware of having a fermentation sheet that looks like this, where you have the tank volumes, gravities, pH, temperature. We all have that clipboard. We all know about that, you know, the screen protector sleeve that's sitting on the tank that you open up. It has yeast on it. It has liquid. It gets wet, et cetera. So the thought process was this, right? Let's actually take this data and actually allow people to visually start seeing how that data dives in together. We're on a daily basis. You can actually see things like gravity, pH, temperature, viability, and trend that information over time, right? And the awesome thing about this is that if you have hardware uh, sensors, right? If you have tanks that are using things like precision fermentation monitoring system, or maybe you're using, you know, full test hydrometers or things like that, it becomes a really cool way to add in that information into Beer 30 and send us a signal to take that information. Uh, DCAM is another great example of other companies that do this. And it's awesome because you're able to track that in those hardware side and add that to the software side. And what's really great about the way Beer 30 handles that then is that you can then pick a brand like my Cambodian Snake Venom IPA, look at something here for you know category and say something like, hey, I want to look at fermentation data, X axis is day numbers, Y axis is gravities, and then I can pick a number of batches to actually compare on top of one another, right? So for the same brand, I can now actually look and compare six different batches on top of each other when it comes to the gravity side of things. And this is awesome, right? Because you're able to see just how tightly the spread is, see how they all dive in together. And then from there, if I were to deviate this and look into something like pH for those same six beers, I can see that that's ranging anywhere from 5.1 to 5.9. Right. And so this is, again, really good ways to understand how you can actually use your data, because we actually had a customer that was using this information to understand that even though their gravities were very tight, the beer actually tasted very different because of the beer pH. And that was really just dived into having to adjust lactic acid on brew day based on the water coming in from the city. Right. And so it's aspects like that that really help people use beer 30 to brew more beer and brew better beer as well. And again, it's all about using the data and using the information to actually streamline the process and actually understand how things are diving in together. If you're interested, you know, we can definitely go into this in greater detail. Feel free to reach out to book a demo. There's a link on the group. There's a link here as well, just craftprofessional.org slash fifth ingredient. Uh, we'll post in the chat. Definitely reach out. More than happy to dive in more on each of these different areas. So from there, I'm going to shift gears just a little bit and talk about sensory and quality as well. So one of the awesome things in Beer 30 when it comes to those aspects is you can actually come in here and add in things like different characteristics for acetaldehyde, diacetyl, true to brand. And it's great because then you're able to take that information. And as you come in here and pick a brand and batch, you're able to see the beer description. And then you're able to actually rate the beer on a scale of zero to five, right? And that includes custom metrics like true to brand. Hey, would a customer say that they're going to buy a six pack of this or something, right? 
And you're able to then take that information. And then when you view that brand and batch, you're able to then see what all the samples are that people have reported. And then from there, actually visually understand just what's happening on the sensory side and how that panel is all diving in together. Right? It's really cool for sensory processes and understanding just how that's all tying in together. From there, let's wrap up on the entire process side by looking at something like batch history. Now, what's really cool about this is that I can take my brand and batch, and now I have all the data for the spear from start to finish. And that includes things like the overall batch results, total material cost, packaging supply costs. And then from there, we turn it into a really cool summary where you actually know what the packaging cost is for a 24 pack of bottles where it's 1477, 24 pack of cans where it's 1030, and a 15 gallon keg, which is $90.42, right? And so these become some really cool aspects to again, use Beer 30 to understand just how your business is going, how things are going when it comes to understanding analysis from batch to batch and cost of goods and diving all that in together on the actual process side of things. Again, really cool ways. And you know, those are just some of the overall highlights, but we could spend you know hours diving into this and seeing just what's happening on the base system or some of these add alone modules as well. What I wanna then jump into is a little bit on the sales and distribution side. So for most of our customers that are using Beer 30 on the full stack, they then utilize Beer 30 to actually understand what's happening for distribution. So you're able to move stock between different locations, able to run reports to see what's between like the wholesale location and LickX and retail and different, uh, different taste rooms that you may have. And then from there, you can actually use Beer 30 to go right ahead and actually make proper sales orders right in the system. And what's great about that is that information then ties in very nicely together with an actual location, diving in with the actual items, dollar values, quantities, and really understanding what the actual cost is that ties in with everything. And then from there, syncing this actual tax order, uh, sales invoice, uh, sorry, sales order tax invoice with either Zero or QuickBooks Online, right? And so again, really coming full circle on our whole process of making the orders in the system and then syncing those over with QuickBooks or Zero as well. Now, one of the coolest things that we just recently launched as well is our entire module when it comes to sales traceability. Now, this is something that is very interesting because, you know, product recall is something that we're all super scared about, right? It's something that we don't want to have. And uh, it was actually this morning that we rolled out a brand new blog post about how to be prepared for a product recall, six steps to ensure beer traceability. And this applies to everybody, whether or not you're using Beer 30, just some of the key aspects that dive in together for you to understand just what's happening on the traceability side. What's really important about this module and just in general, the way we operate is understanding that as you're actually brewing and as you're using different ingredients, diving in with sales traceability as well, where now as you actually make your particular sales orders, you can then dive in and understand exactly which batches are on that particular order, right? And so this becomes an easy way to understand just what's happening on a batch by batch basis. In this case, I got 25 cases of a Moroccan coconut stout that I'm shipping out to, uh, you know, city's best tap room. And seven of them are batch three on April 3rd, eight of them are batch three from April 2nd, and 10 of them are from February 12th, right? And again, just understanding ways that you can use this data where if there's ever a product recall, you know just how that all ties in together. Now, what I wanna wrap up with on the Beer 30 side, just to show you some of the cool aspects with that, is some of our reporting capabilities. Now, one of the things that our customers absolutely love is our sales data and sales reports, right? Where you can pick a start date and you can pick an end date. And I'll just do, for example, Q1 of this year. And now I can actually dive in and understand exactly what's happening for my sales side on a month by month basis when it comes to revenue, break it down on a week by week basis, and then even break it down further by different packaging types, whether it's bottles, cans, or kegs, different product SKUs and understanding how they all dive in together, and then running reports to understand account health, account information, and honestly being able to compare your cost of goods for a particular beer across the revenue that's happening. Right, and for any business, these are the aspects that really help you understand just how successful you're gonna be. And that's again, really the ways that our Beer 30 software is constantly helping people make more beer, brew more beer and brew better beer. So again, 
really cool ways to just dive in. Happy to get into more details about other things like packaging downtime or barrel aging or some of the other reports and accounting integration we have. Again, if you're interested, shoot us an email, uh, add us on uh, Facebook, Instagram, and again, go to the link here, enter in some information, so that way we can then get alerted to wanting to set up a demo. Now, as we start wrapping things up here, what I really wanna emphasize is that, you know, in the community, one of the things that we really love is the feedback that we get from our customers, right? And we're completely transparent about that, where we have release notes that we put, and you can see here that we're basically making updates multiple times a week, right? December 9th, December 8th, December 1st, November 30th, 30th, 27th, and our system is always adapting and evolving based on customer feedback, right? And so again, it's great because that's one of the things you can ask any of our customers about. It's the fact that their feedback actually matters and we actually then incorporate that to making a better product, right? Because at the end of the day, you're the ones using this, right? Ryan and I and our team members have an idea as to the way this is gonna operate, but it really comes down to what our customers, what the brewers, what the accountants, what the owners, want that really helps drive the product roadmap for the fifth ingredient and beer 30. And so again, just easy ways to understand how that all ties in together as well. Now, let's just say after everything that you saw here, you're like, cool, you're interested, you wanna get started. What does that really entail, right? And so with that, we actually put up a blog post recently about getting started with beer 30. Here are four steps to setting up. Right, and with that, what's great is that you're able to take this in a four-step manner where you, we customize Beer 30 for you within 10 minutes. From there, we do a proper training session. You then start using it, and then we have live support as well, right? And it's awesome because we've had a number of customers switch over from competitors. We've had a number of customers switch over from their paper logs, spreadsheets, and whiteboards. And we've even had some customers that use Beer 30 on the entire process side and beer side of things but then still use a full-blown ERP system on the accounting side and material resource planning side. So it's great because of the modularity, you can pick and choose what you need and actually get up and running within a 90 minute training session, dive in 60 to 90 minutes, dive in, start using Beer 30, onboard your tanks, do a stock take, understand what's happening on a tank by tank basis, and you're off to the races, right? And it's great because with that ongoing customer support, we're here for you in case you need anything 24 seven, and especially when it comes to getting you set up. So overall, that's kind of the cool things about Beer 30, right? It comes down to the people that you're working with, the fact that you have access to us all the time, 24 seven, the fact that we're extremely international, have breweries around the US, Australia, uh, New Zealand, some in uh, Sweden, Canada, Mexico, and it's just all about growth for us and doing what we can to help our customers succeed and help them brew more beer and brew better beer with Beer 30, right? So if you have any questions, if you're interested in learning more, send us a message, uh, check out the website. You can also check out the Craft Beer Professionals group again. We'll put the link in the bio at the bottom and we'll go from there on things. So hopefully this helps people really understand where Beer 30 is, how it differentiates itself from other brewery software systems. And uh, you know, just all about that growth aspect. So if anybody has questions, if anybody has feedback on this presentation, demo, feel free to reach out. We'll set something up and go from there. You can also hit us up on the contact form on our website, go from there in different areas of interest, production size, and we'll set up a demo and follow-up call from there. So yeah, thank you all for tuning in. If you have other questions, let me know. Um, looks like that we're all good on our end here. So thank you, Andrew. Thanks for setting this up and looking forward to doing more demos of Beer 30 and helping people get going. And it's great because now is a perfect time to start off for January 2021, getting your books, getting your brewery all set up right from the very beginning. So in 2021. So hit us up. We'll go from there and make things happen. Uh, thank you all for tuning in. Looking forward to chatting more soon. Have a good one. Bye.